have Rodrigo Montoya and Andre Padilla in black and in the gray. The young team is Sebastian Fernandez serving and Miguel Rodriguez. Half out, zero, zero. Now, Andre Padilla and Rodrigo Montoya, who are now in the service box, have played three times before. Their most recent win was at the West Coast Championship at the end of January in Concord, California. First point for Padilla and Montoya. Now, Fernandez and Rodriguez are both from Tijuana, Mexico. They are friends both on and off the court. Tying it up, 1-1. One, one. Maria is from San Luis Potosí and Montoya from Chihuahua, Mexico. We are joined now by another player from San Luis Potosí, Gerardo Franco. Welcome, Gerardo. Hello, hello, how are you? Pretty good, we're kicking off this doubles final at the Mount Rainier Open. How are they doing? So far, Priya and Montoya are leading 4-1. Interesting, nice. these two have matched up before. They are previous champions, they most notably one. The last couple of tournaments. The last, yes. Particularly at the West Coast Championship. Yeah, they beat me in the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> actually. Also, you remember. Yeah, <laughs> I do. some young players out on the court. Rodrigo Montoya is 20 years old, same years as old. Andre Parilla. The same age. They're pretty good. Both very good players. A lot of talent, yeah. yeah. They're so young. Sebastian Fernandez, who just crushed that ball, yeah. is 16, 17 years old. He's Definitely one of the younger players. I think he's 16. 16? Yeah. And he's the number two actually in Mexico. That's right. In current age. I think he's age. He was playing at the Junior Worlds. Yeah. Played the final with Lalo Portillo, who was here. And Gerardo, you were a quarter finalist this weekend in yeah. the singles. And yeah, again, I did the quarter finals. It's a pleasure always. I play against. Yeah, you played against Andre Padilla, yeah, right? Tough match. I mean, 
he played really good. It was it wasn't my tournament this time, but I will try it harder in the next tournament. Well, we consistently see you making the quarterfinals, so I'm confident we will keep seeing you move up. You are one of the younger players on the tour as well. <laughs> Actually, I was the youngest till Sebastian and Pat uh, Patata. AKA Patata. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's right, until these two out in the yeah. gray came up, huh? Yeah. I like to see that front front camera. You can really see the players talking yeah, like to each other. Angle, yeah. yeah. Something you cannot see always. Yeah, ex exactly. It gives you that unique perspective. Mm -hmm. Got a score update. It's eight serving four. Rodriguez is one of the taller players, and he's still so fast. He's very fast. Actually, I think he's, he's the tallest one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, these guys taking a quick time out. We'll be back in just a moment with more of our doubles final. We're back in the doubles final. Sebastian Fernandez serving. Very good pinch. That was a lucky shot. That happens sometimes, right? Yeah. <laughs> we'll take them. You feel so good when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's 10-4. Now, Gerardo, do you know, is this the first doubles final for Fernandez and Rodriguez? Yeah, it's their first doubles final. Actually, I, I think this is the, their best for Per performance in the tournament. Yeah, I know they were very excited to be in the finals this weekend. Actually, so. they were leaving this morning, but they changed their flights because of the they got they got both to the finals. Our referee is David Horn, who we saw in the finals the singles final against Rodrigo Montoya. Wow. Big rip from Montoya. Makes it 11-4. So that's a good shot. It's four serving 11. Are you guys explaining to Fernandez what happened? Okay, so it looks like Montoya didn't serve, but a little bit of confusion on the yeah. court. Do you, do you know what's going on, Gerardo? <laughs> I think Montoya was serving.
Nice shot from Rodriguez for a point, 5-11. Behind the back from Priya. Oh, oh. oh, big backhand from yeah. Montoya. No chance for that. Thirteen serving five, Montoya and Priya in a good position right now. Fourteen five, game point now. Fernandez and Rodriguez trying to stall them from winning this <laughs> game. Okay. Nice get from Fernandez. Wow. Oh, there it is. Game one for Paria Montoya. We'll be back to see if Rodriguez and Fernandez can answer back in the doubles final. Don't go anywhere. It's game two of the Mount Rainier Open doubles final. Sebastian Fernandez starts off serving with his teammate Miguel Rodriguez on the left. Oh, nice effort from Rodriguez. There's the side out. Some longer rallies in doubles. Gerardo Franco joining me now <laughs> on the <laughs> mic. You've been playing both doubles and singles this weekend. What is that like as a player to play so many matches in a weekend? Um, it's very tired because when you finish your singles matches, you have to immediately uh, take something to to recover your energy because you're going to play the doubles match. And I mean, it's very fun, but it's tired. It's a lot. You really got to be on top of your nutrition and your rest, yeah. I imagine. And hydration, water exactly. is very important. Of course. All of the players out on the court were also playing singles. Mm -hmm. um, David Bobby Horn, who was a finalist and currently our referee, though lately he's been choosing not to play doubles so he not can focus yeah. on singles. And like to save more energy. Yes. Let's get from Fernandez. Those guys can reach everything. Yeah, we've seen some long rallies because these guys keep digging yeah. up balls. So in your opinion, Gerardo, which do you prefer, playing singles or doubles? Um, I, I like a lot to play doubles because, as you said, the, the rallies get longer. And I mean, I like because you can play more. Uh, it's more fun. It is not like too much intense, like the singles. I like the doubles. And there must be a different like team dynamic. You're now working with someone. Yeah. Partnering with them against another team. So that changes the dynamic. And who was, who was your partner this weekend, Gerardo? This weekend I played with, with Wayne, with Anton. He's from Portland, Oregon. That's right. We had Wayne on the broadcast. Uh -huh, yeah. Yesterday he was here. We lost against Portillo and Camacho in the first round. They both, they both played really good. And we were tired because af before that match, we played against each other. 
Yeah, it's tough to play against each other in singles and then play together in doubles. That's what happened to Rodrigo Montoya and Andre Perilla. Yeah. They played in the semifinals last night because Montoya seated number three, Perilla seated number, number two. two. Montoya defeated him and then ended up winning the whole tournament this mm -hmm. weekend. Oh, nice effort from Montoya. He read that. So after you played Portillo and Camacho, they went on to play Rodriguez and Fernandez. Fernandez. Then Rodriguez and Fernandez also had to beat Daniel Rojas and Francisco Troncoso nice to get finals. here to the finals. That's they right. beat them in tiebreaker. Ah, Priya right there. Just had to stick <laughs> that racket out. Soft. He wants to smile. Look at that face. Six serving zero. Now Rodriguez and Fernandez need to do something different in order to stop something. this. They're yeah. kind of letting Montoya and Parilla just run away. They need to change strategies. They are getting everything, but they need to execute more. Nine serving zero. They're having a lot of setups. Yeah, I feel like we don't see or hear them talking as much on the court. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was a little awkward, but it made it. Montoya makes look the racquetball like an easy sport, and he it does. is not. <laughs> he does. He's so fun to watch, too, for yeah. that reason. So talented. Look. <laughs> yeah. Just effortless. <laughs> Just racking up the points. It's 12-0. I'm surprised Fernandez and Rodriguez aren't calling a timeout. They already lost their mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe they want to catch their flight. You mentioned they had to uh, change that around, so they gotta <laughs> they gotta wrap this up. Match point now for Rodriguez, excuse me, for Montoya and Perilla. Oh, and oh. they pull out the side out. All right, just in time. That gives us a little time to note that all of the players out on the court, including yourself, Gerardo, are part of the Reaching Your Dream Foundation, which helps players get to events like this, compete at this level. Gerardo, tell us a little bit about your experience with the foundation. Um, in Spanish? Or sure, you can do it in Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, I'll do it in Spanish because I'm not still too fluent in English. Um, bueno, ya saben yo, mi nombre es Gerardo Franco. Eh, soy el número 10 en este torneo, estuve sembrado en el número 7. Eh, la fundación es, es Reaching Your Dream Foundation. Es una asociación que nos apoya a todos los jugadores jóvenes que participamos en este tour. World Racquetball Tour, eh, nos da chance de seguir viajando, seguir conociendo, seguir disfrutando al deporte que nos gusta a todos, que nos divierte, que nos saca de, de muchas 
presiones, como ustedes quieran llamarle. Eh, y esta fundación nos apoya con muchas cosas. En general, nos, hace, nos, as, nos da el sí para viajar a esos torneos. Y si ustedes te, tienen chance de apoyar con lo que ustedes quieran, eh, eh, les, les agradeceríamos por siempre. Eh, todos estamos muy agradecidos por su apoyo eh, y para que ustedes puedan seguir disfrutando de buenos partidos como estos. The Reaching Your Dream Foundation making it possible for Montoya and Perilla to win the doubles, yeah, the yeah, doubles final. Now. Thank you, Gerardo, for, you, for joining us and sharing your experience not only with the foundation, but uh, with the tournament this weekend as well. It's thank always you, a pleasure you. having you. I always like to say you were the 2016 Sportsmanship Award recipient oh, yeah. this year, and we're so proud to have you a part of the WRT. Thanks to the WRT. Thank you to everyone watching. We hope you enjoy the live free streaming brought to you by the WRT. I'm Laura McCormick. We'll see you March 10th at the Midwest Championship Minneapolis. in Minneapolis. Thank you and good day.